All right, Jeff, thank you very much. Concerns soar as Canada geese flock to Maumelle. The city's parks and recreation departments addressing the community's concerns. Fox 16's Price McKeon joining us live from the newsroom to explain why the city's hands are somewhat tied, at least when it comes to these new guests. Price. That's right, Kevin. The city says a 100-year-old law is making the solution a little stickier to find. And while some could say it's already a stinky situation. Now, Canada geese aren't hard to find in Maumelle. Check out the dozens we found in the middle of the day at Lake Willistine. Now, their presence and their presence the birds leave annoy many. And Maumelle's Parks and Recs director says they put out decoy coyotes, they power wash the pavilions, and they try to keep the trails clean. But he says the Federal Migratory Bird Act of 1918, yes, 100 years ago, limits what it can do about the birds. Maybe so. I mean, from 1918, uh, you know, it, it's 100 years. I mean, things can change in a lot, uh, in 100 years. As far as I'm being here, besides the poop, it doesn't really bother me. But I mean, it doesn't. I mean, I can dodge it. Now that act protects those birds, and that also means the city can't catch and then release the geese. So, despite efforts like the decoys to move them, while the birds aren't moving unless they decide to do it themselves. Now, the Parks and Recreation Department is exploring other options to alleviate the annoyance. We've learned years ago, dogs were used to try to deter the geese, but dogs don't swim like the geese, so that may not be the best choice right now at this time, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I, that's a, yes. I've heard swan decoys might, might work in certain situations, but Who like knows? Jesse James was talking about, not everyone can dodge it. Or right. the birds, I should Their say. Their business. Yeah. But what about taking matters into your own hands? That's, that's probably not a good yeah. idea. Not only are these things aggressive, but if something happens, it could be costly too, right? All right. Going back to that law, exactly, Kevin. The director stressed in a Facebook post today that anyone who hurts the protected Canada geese can get a hefty fine. We're talking thousands of dollars and jail time. We can't rule that one out either. Yeah. In the meantime, be careful. Not only where you walk, but where you walk. <laughs> okay. And where you walk. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Well, good news for the state of Arkansas. Finance officials.